Hi, in this video I want to discuss a um, association between um, atheism and um, grand architects. <laughs> sort of like the idea of uh, comparing atheism to um, Stalinism, communism, all those ideologies, false equivalencies, false uh, comparisons, um, misconceptions, misconstruction of certain ideas, some things like that. Um, so the idea of uh, spirituality, the idea of using the same idea of a god and comparing that to the spirituality of it. I'll get to that in a little bit, just a second. But sort of like comparing Stalin and all those, uh, you know, very few leaders and using a few examples compared to what is used uh, on a regular basis based on theism and deism and using those as examples of uh, contriving some kind of false truths and kind of contriving false moral morality or ethics on the world and using that as a way to force and force the rules of um, the living things that are living and basing it on a false text that can't be proven other than the proof that it proves itself. It only proves itself. Um, and there's nothing else in the, in the Bible or in those books. That's um, obviously that, the fact that it's only proof of itself is uh, and more than enough to prove it. it doesn't have any weight in the world. And making those false equipment comparisons, um, using it based on a theistic. People like uh, Stalin, those dictators, people like that, doing those kinds of things. Whatever it may be, whoever it may be, you know, they don't may not be believing in a religion, but that's because they make themselves the gods in their own religion. They're the ones that are the center of the attention. They make their own religion. They use the same techniques that a religion would use, only using a a cult of personality based on a person that's following, that the people are following. Sort of like North Korea dictators there. Um, they use religious idea ideas. Um, to enforce the rules that they enforce and using those kinds of things that there is a god. There's a, an idea of a god or a dictatorship that means that whatever says goes, that means therefore they are following the rules of religion. Um, they're following the rules that whatever it says based on false um, or misinterpretations of the truth and so on and so forth and using that as an example as more of a truth than uh, proof that they're following some kind of religious edicts. At least the basic the religious edicts that you get from a um, generally speaking from a religious text or religious ideology, using whatever one source of information, basing it in and of itself, a dictatorship, using that idea of using yourself as a god, whatever, you can use any one of those things to prove that it's more of a religious ideology than anything else. Just making your, replacing Jesus with you, you with Jesus, Jesus with you, um, or Mohammed with you. You become the, um, the, the supreme leader, you become the, the, um, the prophet, you become the son of God, you become God. And that's where the, uh, the issues start uh, adding up, because you become the issue yourself. Um, and you become the very thing, even if it, you don't realize that you're the very reason why your things are happening the way that they're happening. So regardless, that's you're just a product of um, a, rel a religious uh, ideology. So you become the issue yourself, uh, regardless of what you may perceive or understand. Um, so saying that it's a, it's, it's a missed example, saying they're atheists, this, that, and the other thing. If you're an atheist, replace yourself. Um, God with yourself, and you become the God, you're, you're more along the lines of a religious leader, basing it on, I'm the God, you have to follow every edict that I base off, based off of just my ideologies, or based off of these groups of ideologies, and it's the difference between that and setting laws. Because, um, um, because, let's see, what, um, basing it off of one source of information, um, making yourself set up to be a prophet, basing it off of a cult personality, using those examples at the very least, obviously creating laws, laws aren't perfect, and those laws based on those one in, and those individuals based on those comparisons it, them, themselves can be completely destroyed because that's not, uh, um, they use those ideologies as a, a way of um, destroying a religion and using themselves to replace it. I think that's more of an example, is using themselves to replace religion and using their ultimate power to use, uh, place uh, whatever it may be with the edicts that they choose to do and using it ultimately for a bad purpose and that's really I guess the, the main point I want to say about that um, but laws there's a little more that goes behind laws obviously not all laws are better and obviously it can be seen everywhere to a certain extent but when you replace yourself with God and you proclaim it with the utmost certainty and the utmost vindication it shows that you're just proving that you're more of a religious leader at least using those examples it comes down to just those prime and those individualistic examples, those um, sectioned off examples that you're using. Yes, you can say that. Those are examples of more religious leaders because, yes, they're not following ideology, they're creating their own. And they're therefore following morality or theology that's based off of them more than anything else, as opposed to following one and using that as an excuse, sort of like um, 
Hitler and um, using that as an excuse or misinterpretation of the things that are based in that. Or just using that to excuse the fact that you want to do something bad and just uh, interpreting whatever way you want to. And whatever text you're using, the way, whatever way you want to. So a lot of these things can be boiled down to a bunch of um, replacement. <laughs> Replacing yourself. Um, the thing that you're believing with yourself. And the, the non-belief of something with yourself. Or the belief in something. And by taking ideas and using those for yourself. So, um, regardless, that's what's happening. Um, and spirituality, um, well, that's ultimately what it is. <laughs> it's spirituality based on your leader, religious leader. Um, saying you're spiritual. But I guess spiritually enforced, you know, Stalin, all those kinds of leaders, and uh, atheism, and then they're false examples. And, um,. Yeah, spiritualism is also silly too. I'm religious. You're, you're religious. You know, you're religious, but you're, you're not. You're not religious, but you're spiritual. You believe in some kind of God. You say say you're a deist at that point. You're believing in some kind of ultimate something behind the veil. I don't believe in something a little more extreme. Before long, you realize, like becoming a Republican when you're older, you'll start believing in a deity, whatever it may be. But it's all silly. I'm an atheist, but I'm spiritual. Yes, my ideologies, and that starts getting into interpretations of what an atheist has. That uh, I'd say if you're an atheist, you're more of a uh, a uh, non-spiritualist as well. <laughs> but if you're a agnostic, whatever meaning you want to put behind that word, you can say you're kind of spiritual. Now, there's a possibility. Well, there's also a possibility all sorts of things are happening. We don't really know. I'm a life agnostic. I don't know what's really going on. There's open for interpretation. It's hidden behind the veil. Who knows? There might be something hidden behind the universe floating outside there. I don't believe in any religion. Um, but I believe in the possibility of some kind of Jesus. Possibly, but I don't believe it in a religious um, idea. As a religious idea. Just believe it like someone may have forced it to happen. <laughs> Intelligent design, maybe. Whatever it may be. But yeah, I don't think there's much else to mention, mention on this subject. Very simple subject, not much to uh, say. Um, yeah, a bunch of that silly uh, spiritualism that people are adopting at this point, at least nowadays. Voodoo. Voodoo nonsense. I'm not religious, but I believe in voodoo. <laughs> it's almost like saying the same thing. I believe in shrunken heads and, you know, worshipping the shrunken head and smelling at, um, incense and smoking the, the doobie <laughs> to get uh, different ideas. Believing in the reptiles taking over the earth. Maybe there's something that exists spiritually in them. Ghosts may exist. A spirit. I believe in spirits. If I believe in spirits and ghosts, why not believe in the Holy Spirit? <laughs> That's pretty spiritual, too. Are you saying you're spiritual in the holy way? And there's a lot of holes in that holy spirit, holy spiritualism. So if you want to believe that, I think you're going to have to go in the whole way. The wrong hole I think you're going into. But regardless, um, I don't think there's anything else to mention on the subject. But... Um, Spiritually enforced, Stalin, a atheism, this example, to read the notes directly, verbatim, yes, um, using those false examples and spirituality based on the cults of personality and so on and so forth, or those certain ideologies, fill in the blanks if you need to on the idea, if I miss any idea, interpret it whatever, whatever way seems right, <laughs> necessary to help you get the basic idea down. Regardless, I think that's all I need to say in this subject, so if anything else needs to be said, there's always another time, another video, so thank you. Until next time. Bye.